think what you have just said has landed me nicely into my next story, <laughs> called Truth and Story. <laughs> so, uh, once upon a time, there were two very beautiful young women, friends. They lived together in a village, the edge of a forest. And they were very happy together. If you pass the house at any point in time, you would hear, you know, happy laughter, vessels cooking, singing. But on this particular day that we are talking about, things were different. It was a tiny argument. Nobody remembered what that argument was. It grew a little, grew a little more, became a little bigger argument. It became a big argument. And after some time, things got really nasty. And one, I didn't really know what this was more. One was truth and one was story. And after some time, one of the girls said, you know, who do you think you are? Without me, you are nobody. And the other one said, yeah, you think so? Why do we find out for ourselves who is somebody and who is nobody? And so then, they had a little, uh, what do you call it, a contest. So they developed this contest. They said, each one will have to walk singly, right from their own house, which is at the edge of a forest, to the middle, to the center of the village, and then walk back. And anybody, and, and the person to with whom, you know, most people come and talk to and laugh and have a good time with, is the somebody, the other one is the nobody. Truth walked first. She walked, she looked here and there, hoping some, to catch someone's eye. But today somehow people kind of averted their eyes, they didn't look at her and they kind of walked away. If they were on this footpath and she was coming, they would slowly cross over. And Truth reached the middle of the village and nobody had talked to her. She said, this is very bad, this is not looking good for me at all. This cannot happen, I cannot go back home like this. So what can I do? She said, oh, I'm pretty. But one thing, there's one way nobody can not look at me. She threw her dress off. <laughs> and she walked back, started walking neck and back. Thinking, now people will look at me. How can they not? But what happened was when people were gently moving away, now they rushed away screaming. You know, <coughs> old women who could not, men and women who couldn't run, they just sort of buried their hand in the group of their arms and shivered. People who in their gardens ran home, double bolted their doors and went to the <laughs> through the cracks to see if she's gone. <laughs> she walked home like that. She was like in tears and story stuff. And as story walked, people said, hi, hello, they laughed, they had a good time. <laughs> By the time she went, was in the middle of the village, many people had met her. She was like already the winner. She came back. And there was truth. She said, truth, truth said story. I'm really happy that people like you so much. Really, you're my friend. Why did people hate me so much? She cried and cried and cried. And then she said, story saw her friend crying so much, something hard in her heart left it. And she said, you know what, Truth? Actually, it's not that people only like me and they don't like me. But you know, not many people can take the truth. And even lesser number of people can actually deal with the naked truth. <laughs> <laughs> so then she hugged her friend and she said, you know, with me, story her truth. And she said, with me, you are more acceptable. And with you at my center, in my center, I am the mm -hmm. yes. And so, that evening, they cooked together, had a nice meal, and then they went out for a walk. And when they walked together, people came as usual, had long chats with them, they laughed, they were merry, shared their miseries, whatever, they had a nice time. Mm -hmm. <laughs>